sits down to discuss what retaliation needs to be taken. But not in this story. In this story, the landowner just sends a larger faction of servants to get his money. And again, the sharecroppers stone and kill them. Now, this is where all bets are off in Donnie, Nebraska. Someone is going to pay, and probably with their life. But that foolish landowner in our story today does the unthinkable. He sends his son. Now, by now, I'm looking through my fingers because this has to be the climax. This is where the landowner is going to come with his army of gat-toting thugs and wipe out the entire sharecropper population, right? Isn't that what you expect? The Pharisees, who Jesus is telling this story, even they know what should happen. When Jesus asks them, what do you think he, the landowner, will do to these farmers? They answer it. They're probably just like me. They're like, okay, I know, I know, I know. Pick me. They answer or probably shouted, he will put the wicked men to a horrible death and lease the vineyard to others who will give him his share of the crop after each harvest. And even I know what Robert De Niro would do. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, a life for a life. That's not how this story goes. Whereas the Pharisees and maybe we see violence as the practical choice. Jesus quotes to these men a passage from Psalm 118. The stone rejected by the builders has now become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous to see. See, Jesus knows his Father's heart and his will for humankind. And although it will mean his own death on the cross, Jesus also knows that in his death and resurrection, he will demonstrate for the world God's extravagant grace and unconditional pardon toward all. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And it just amazes me, we're almost to the end of the Gospel of Matthew. And it's as if this answer comes as a surprise to the Pharisees, to us, I want to take you back from the very beginning of Jesus' ministry. I'm in Matthew 5, and I'm starting in verse 38. He's already talking about revenge. He says, you have heard that the law of Moses says, if an eye is injured, Injure the eye of the person who did it. If a tooth gets knocked out, knock out the tooth of the person who did it. And that comes from the Old Testament. But I say, Jesus says, don't resist an evil person. If you are slapped on the right cheek, turn the other tooth. 